with Sami Zayn now uh, turning on the bloodline, I mean, in a way, I kind of saw this coming. It was either one or two things was going to happen. Either the bloodline was going to turn on Roman, I mean, the bloodline was going to turn on Sami Zayn, or Sami Zayn was going to turn on the bloodline. Uh, what led to Sami doing that is because you had Heaven Owens beat, and you beat him. Everybody was attacking him from the bloodline. And then all of a sudden, it was Sami Zayn's turn to hit Kevin Owens. In my personal opinion, Sami Zayn should have just went with it and attacked Kevin Owens and been with the bloodline. Everything would have been cool and everything. But Sami Zayn, how he is, you know, you only take so much. So Roman was pressuring Sammy to actually hit uh, Kevin Owens, which I don't see that. I didn't see that happening at all. But Roman Reigns pretty much shoves and pushes Sami Zayn. He goes to turn around. Sami Zayn whacks him behind with the behind, of course, and we know the rest. The bloodline attacks Sami Zayn. I mean, of course, when you attack the tribal chief, when you try to mess with the tribal chief, you know the crew going to come after you. So what was Sami Zayn expecting? To get a Nobel Peace Prize? I mean, it's obvious. But, I mean, in a way, I see Sami Zayn's reaction because you do so much to fit in, and then once you finally fit in, it's still not good enough. So Sami Zayn had to do what he had to do. And now that he's back with his friend Kevin Owens, maybe they can make some history once again.